I'm facing several problems with YouTube and not because YouTube isn't a good platform for what it is. It's that YouTube has changed in some good ways and in some ways that I feel has made it very difficult to do anything on YouTube. I was never a YouTuber. I don't think I'll ever be a YouTuber. I was always more of a, a live streamer, now what's called a variety streamer, going all the way back. Um, YouTube has been great to get videos from point A to point B and to share perspectives and opinions and thoughts and entertain and inform and all that. But we've reached a point where every video that gets engagement or let me go this far, any video that could ever be expected to get any amount of engagement is overproduced. And I don't mean that as a negative thing or a bad thing because who does not like well-produced videos? Who doesn't? I think some amount of production value is, is critical. But now, every video that's popular or has any chance of getting seen is so produced, so many of them, even if they're not talking about a product, look like a commercial, which is great. If you're a videographer, if you're a, 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 someone who, who loves producing video, it's great if, if, if you enjoy that process, but it's so difficult to maintain a connection with a community or even an audience when you're clamoring to keep that relationship maintained because you're not able to get what you produce surfaced. Not because the content that you're producing is less valuable. It's that it doesn't meet a certain threshold. It, it doesn't look perfectly polished. It doesn't have a shine. It doesn't have a sheen. It doesn't look amazing. It doesn't hit all the beats. And, and I totally understand the value of needing to double down on that in order to better optimize time on site or time spent in app or watch time. I get it. But this is a radical departure from what I enjoyed about YouTube. Because YouTube was about you. It was about me and about forging that connection and yeah the comments have always been hit or miss but it never spoke to the production quality of a video and this becomes more of a challenge when certain types of videos or, or, or genres are dominated by those who have the ways and means and I for super high production value to the point where what they produce is no longer relatable. And I don't mean that the people who produce them are not authentic. I don't mean that they're not being honest with themselves and with their community. It's just that I don't, Feel like I can reach out and, 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 and connect with them and that that's what I always loved about doing any kind of online video and by the way this 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 goes beyond YouTube before YouTube even existed one of the reasons I loved doing live video or just video in general was that I had a chance to share my thoughts perspectives something a part of my world with with everybody and that was the thrill of YouTube it democratized that but because uh, but before YouTube uh, it was difficult to, to get a video uploaded and everybody having the right codec in their browser to go to one website where it was all there and blogs are still happening and podcasts, although podcasts really haven't gone away. There's nothing wrong with polished video. There's nothing wrong with video optimized for a platform's algorithm. But that does not mean that people who cannot keep up with that have anything less to say or are any less important or any less influential it's never been for me the medium but the message and I know right now I can sit here and tell you 
with, with brutal honesty, I don't have the ability to do what others do, which is great. It's something to potentially aspire to, but at the same time, I don't know if that's me. I, I've done edited video before. I, I've edited video before. I, I, I've, I've been down that path, and, and that's definitely for some people, but it's not for me. And I know that existing on the same platform as others with a community or an audience or a world that's become accustomed and attuned to these perfectly pixel perfect polished videos, anything less than is automatically seen as less than. So I, I, uh, I'm not a YouTuber. I, uh, I don't necessarily think that that's something that I want to be. I enjoy what YouTube provides for me. I enjoy, uh, you know, connecting with others who, uh, you know, sim uh, uh, share similar passions and interests, though I find that Twitch is better for that than YouTube. Probably one of the reasons why I like live streaming on Twitch every night, because I feel closer to the community. Because on YouTube, it's, it's like they, they're doing everything they can to separate the, the, the creator's authentic voice and, and, and delivery and, and, and experience from people who would want to connect with that. And I know YouTube's got live video. I'm not sure they're implementing it as well as they could, but maybe that's their journey. I, I, I just, I, I'm, I'm concerned because the comments I'm starting to see, not just on YouTube, but tonight, one of the videos I did shot like this, live to tape, unedited, raw, was shared on Reddit. It was one of my camera comparison videos. And, and someone remarked, and this was just, it was it was striking to me. I was honestly, like, just kind of shocked. The, let me see if I can pull it up. Uh, the idea that someone would write something like this was just, it was interesting. Because that's not something that I would expect to see from anybody. And it was, uh, I'm trying to pull it up here. Um, it, Reddit sometimes can be a little challenging to navigate here. Give me a second because I know I've got to pull this up now. I know this is, this is where everyone hopes that I was doing something edited, but come on. Is this not, why, why is Reddit not working? Okay, never mind. They were basically saying the same thing. Like, you know, it's refreshing to see someone just talk from the heart. You know, talk from, you know, experience and not worry about hitting every beat and, and making every mark. And, 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 and putting in the errors and, and keeping them there. The foibles and, and the trips and the slips. Because it happens. Not everyone who's got a good voice and is authentic is going to be a quote-unquote influencer. Don't get me started on that term. Because that's a completely different discussion.